Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to automate the crafting of bullets from raw resources. Be sure to subscribe if you find this video helpful. Before we get started, let's cover what you will need. First off, you will need at least a workbench level 2 to gather all items necessary for this item. You will need 4 storage boxes of any size, 2 furnaces, 6 storage adapters, 2 splitters, 2 combiners, 9 conveyors, 2 industrial crafters, 1 splitter, at least one workbench of any level, and a power source of some kind. I would recommend a medium battery or higher. Now let's go over this step by step. First things first, set down a power source of some kind. We're going to use the test generator for this video. Next, place a storage container. This will be where we drop the raw resources, in this case, sulfur and metal ore, as well as wood. Following this, place one industrial splitter and one storage adapter. Then simply connect them. Use two of the industrial splitter outports and connect them to two conveyors. One will filter wood and metal ore, and the other wood and sulfur ore. Placing down furnaces is the next step. Of course, you can use other methods such as electric furnaces, but for this video, I'm sticking to the basics in the event you don't have charcoal. Make sure there's a storage adapter on each of them and then connect them each to the corresponding conveyors we just placed. Once the furnaces are set and have completed cooking items, we need to route them into another box with conveyors. Set a box down as well as a storage adapter. Then we place two conveyors. These do not need filters as they are only grabbing the cooked material from each furnace. You will need to connect both conveyors to a combiner and then route the industrial out of the combiner into the storage adapter of the bin we just placed. Now all cooked resources will move to the next bin we've just placed. Now we're going to get crazy with the pipes. I place a small box down with a storage adapter for the gunpowder. You'll then want to place four conveyors, one industrial splitter, and one combiner to the wall. Before we jump into filters, you want to put a workbench down with two industrial crafters. Note the crafters can only be placed on workbenches, but fortunately you can place up to two. Now let's get to connecting the pipes. From the cooked resource bin, route the output to the industrial splitter's input. First on the list is the gunpowder creation. Route one of the industrial splitter outputs to the bottom conveyor in, and then connect the conveyor out to the first industrial crafter. Then switch the filter on this conveyor to sulfur and charcoal. Within the crafter menu, you will see a blueprint line. You'll need to study gunpowder at a research table and attain a blueprint to place this in its slot. Once this is all powered, it will know to create this item once all items necessary are in the input slots. Next, you'll connect the crafter output to the next conveyor, and then route that output into the small box we placed to store the gunpowder. You don't need a filter for this as it will only place what we're creating from the crafter into the bin. Moving on to the creation of bullets, we now need a second crafter to make our ammo. Connect the industrial splitter out to a conveyor available and filter this to metal only. Then you will connect the conveyor out to the combiner. Do the same with the last conveyor. This one pulling items from the small bin of gunpowder, then into the combiner. Finally, connect the combiner out to the crafter in where the metal frags and the gunpowder will arrive. Again, like the gunpowder blueprint, you'll need the blueprint for ammo you're trying to make. We're using pistol bullets for this scenario. Then place one last conveyor, route the second crafter to the conveyor, and then into the box. This again needs no filter into the storage container of the final box designated for ammo. Once this is complete, you will wire all the conveyors together so they get power. Also to note, the industrial crafter does not have pass-through, so I suggest using an electric splitter and connecting one port each to the crafters to power them. Now you simply make sure you have all the resources in box one, turn on all conveyors, crafters, and furnaces, and watch the magic happen. This system streamlines your general farming all the way to the automation of creating bullets. This can be used for many different items, but the passive crafting of raw resources is a massive time saver. I hope you found this video helpful. There are of course other ways to create this passive items. Feel free to share your methods with me in the comments. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe as there are many more tutorials on the way. Until next time, gang, happy rusting. Peace out, nerds.